everybody. Welcome to the Studying Brew episode 692 on this fabulous Thursday evening. Uh, it was a throwback Thursday on our uh, music right before the show. Man, it was a good one, huh? Fuji's. Yes. Throwing it backwards. Is that what you're doing? Yeah, get it throw back. Okay. First, I threw it forward and went, wait, no. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? Are you throwing salt over your shoulder? What are you doing? What's going on over here? <laughs> uh anyways uh yeah it was so uh we're so happy to have all of you here on this thursday night my name is andy i am the guy that runs the back office over here at Kona butterflies but you're not here for me you're here for brandy that's right she's got her series 6 63 26 series 65 and that series 7 which makes her more than qualified to teach you all the things you need to know so that way you too can get that pass notice for the summer so that way you can have a what do they call it uh uh a hot, hot summer a hot securities summer summer yeah something like that hot investment summer hot investment summer there you go yeah, yeah. strutting hard next to the pool <laughs> they're gonna go why you got so much confidence well i'm glad you asked you got a free next thursday uh here's my calendly look lit here's my link. calendly link that's how the kids do it yeah you can have my calendly don't be left out though don't feel like you're left out if you don't have a calendly link yeah i don't count. it's still cool to pull out your uh your write-in organizer yeah Pass out that calendar. Pop out your Rolodex. Nah, you can just use your regular calendar on your phone. Get your old Rolodex out. That old thing called the Google cal Calendar. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, all right, everybody. We're so glad to have all of you here. And uh, we're going to do the Serious Six tonight. Oh. What is the Serious Six? It is where we're going to go over six different exams. We're going to have a question from each exam. And we're going to break them down with those test taking techniques all for you for free. for free. That's right. We're going to have questions from the SIE, the six, the 63, the 26, 65 and the series seven. Well, we want to welcome you because this is our free. This is our little bit of uh, is our sample. This is Costco. This is a sample where I'm over by the freezers handing out the, the little the little the little bits of Kona. Yeah. The little bits of cone of butterflies, a little technique. Here's a technique in your uh, in your paper cup, if you will. But if you want to get in our membership, we have that available. But first, we had uh, we had a great meeting with uh, with the team before we got on here. I want to say shout out to ACS United. Yeah, yeah. I think they're still uh, talking about us and they're not on. But we want to say thank you uh, to to them to invite us to their yes. office and you know via Zoom awesome. and uh, go ahead and address their team. That was great. So thank you over there at uh, Aces United, Christina Bog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the best. Uh, but let's get to it, Brandy. Let's go. We got a busy weekend, yeah? I know some of y'all are working with the spring break. You're already going to the Panama, right? Panama. I was just going to say, are you talking about Van Halen? Do you know there's a beach called Panama Beach, right? Okay, maybe not. I was keeping it with the throwback Thursday, but there's an actual place called Panama Beach. <laughs> You're talking about the Panama. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna go say hi to Noriega? Yeah, that's what I was yeah. thinking. Remember the oh. container ship that got stuck? Yeah, no, that's not what I was going with, but that's okay. Uh, but you know, oh, what do you want me to pick another beach? Huntington, <laughs> Surf City, USA. She's like, I only know California beaches. I only know Huntington Beach. <laughs> right. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so yeah, we got the spring break going on. You might have the kids, the museums happening. And you're like, I still need my study on. No worry, Kona can go with you. It travels well. You can watch all our videos on your uh, on your phone, your yes. tablets. Mm -hmm. You can watch it anywhere. You can get some streaming going on. Watch those videos. Listen to an audio. Who knows? Maybe uh, your kids are in the pool. You got the earpiece in one ear, the other one open, so that way you can hear from drowning. And the other one you're learning, right? You can multitask like that. That's how moms and dads do it. They know what I'm talking about. You got to do two things at once. Mm -hmm. Why not get your study on right. while you're on vacation? That's just the way you do. And you can do that. Just scan the QR code, hit the link in the chat, be a member, get those online on course demand videos, be getting that 21 day plan. We got those live sessions happening. Uh, we got an orientation replay that explains it all, all happening on that link tree. Plus we got those study guides, SIE 663, 20 bucks each eBooks, and you can print them out. Yep. So if you'll study in the 1900s, you can get that paper copy, get your coffee ring stains all over it, get your, your donut fingers all over it. However you study, I don't judge. However it works, somebody's over there. I do wheatgrass shots only. I'm like, okay. Orange juice. Good enough. Good enough. 
Uh, we also got Kona Community. We got that free online community. It's 24-7 study hall. Got study and brew replays. Plus, you can get questions, ask questions. You can get a hold of Brandy over there. Join the community. It is free. Uh, and how do you do it? Just scan the QR code, hit the link in the chat. Also, we have a Telegram. It's a nice little bulletin. And you can reach me over there, too. Some people do. 866-HEY-KONA. That's where you can reach me at. You can leave me a voicemail and text. And I will get back to you as soon as I can. Yeah. I am not a bathroom answerer. I know there's that's a popular thing now with you kids. You guys like to answer the, the phone in the bathroom. Find it very weird. But plus, I, I'm just I, sometimes it just mystifies me. I'm like, does, does the other person hear people grunting yes. in there? Yes. Like if you're on the phone, you hear all those noises of the bathroom. Fun fact. Like, why do you do that? Your microphone is not that good. Yeah, it's not that good. It's not that isolating. No. Uh, they hear it all. We know you're in the bathroom. We hear the. Echo. I'm glad you got friends that don't. They can ignore that. I'm just saying I don't answer the phone. So just leave me a voicemail or a text if I don't answer and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right, we got a live session reminder for tomorrow. It is simple. It is your question Friday for the 63, the 65. Just bring those questions. Brandy's got answers. It starts off at 7 a.m. in Hawaii, 10 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Mountain, 12 p.m. Central, 1 p.m. in the East. And then right after that, like Batman and Robin back to back. We got the 65, 8 a.m. in Hawaii, 11 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Mountain, 1 p.m. in the Central, and 2 p.m. East Coast. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then also one more quick reminder, we do have SIE content tomorrow. Course content, if you're in that $50 and $100 tier, you get to sit in on our uh, recording of uh, new SIE content, course content. It's not that the other stuff's totally outdated or anything, but... It's but we, we need we need a refresh on our yeah. our side of it. We have better equipment. We have better microphones now. It isn't the old corded mic with the earpiece that Brandy did some of those with. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys right. only knew, yeah. if you only knew our humble beginnings. <laughs> right. Uh, but we're redoing those, so we let you guys sit in on it. Plus, you get to ask questions. Why not? You get uh, just one more extra. You get an extra. But remember, it is its own. It is its own Zoom code. So look in your email right now. It's already there. It went out two hours ago. And you can get in on that special Zoom code. It is there in the email. Look for that exact same graphic and then open up the post. The, the Zoom code will be there for those two tiers. And that's just on Fridays that we do that special Zoom code for that content recording. Uh, and tomorrow, Brandy is going over DP. DPPs. Yeah, you know me. That's right. DPPs, you know me. Uh, so that's always tested. That's always a good one. Yes. All right. If you're not following us on Instagram, I wish you would. Because when they give me a picture and they let me know, guess what? What? I add another one to the Kona Hall of Fame. Because guess why? Why? We got a passer. Hey. That's right. We got passers. That's right. We got some passers in the house. Thank you so much. Well, actually, they're not in the house, but congratulations not. on passing. We had a passer. This is so awesome. He's not on here to talk about it, but he did give me uh, some notes about it. If you guys haven't noticed, I do add like you guys' quote. So I guess I should expand on it now and be like, and they let me know how they passed with us. Yes. And then I'll let you guys all know. Uh, but uh, so uh, this this young man, literally, young man mm -hmm. uh i don't even i don't even know if he shaves yet that's how young this guy is wow. he literally turned 18 and passed his sie yes two weeks later passed the series six yes boom 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 just like that just like that uh this guy's still a teenager and he's passing all these exams he's going to be fully licensed and not be able to drink in a in a or go to a casino nope legally I had to throw that in there. I can do your investments, but I can't gamble. Exactly. But he's he's got that edge. Yeah. So you, some of you might be young and you're like, I don't know. I got so much distractions. I got stuff I want to do with my friends on the weekend. This is a guy, he's making a choice to, to put that aside and just focus on his business, focus on that next step. And uh, congratulations to Tim on getting this thing done. Uh, he said studying every day for two weeks. And using the Q bank to stu to uh, to study, and then the and then the knowledge, but also going back to the Kona if I'm struggling in any certain area. He's just so he's using it just like we tell you. You go and take those quizzes. You look where those low areas are, and you use the Kona to review. And that's how he's doing it. And uh, if you have a winning combination, 
just keep on collecting pass notices. Exactly. So that's what uh, he's going to be doing. And I can't wait uh, to get him uh, that 63, and I'm guessing, the next two weeks. Yeah. He, he has a pattern here. Every two weeks he passes. So getting that 63 in two more weeks. That is awesome. That is awesome. And uh, if you haven't yet got to go look at his pass notice picture over on the Instagram, it's actually really an awesome picture because it's not just him. His dad's in the picture with him and the smile his dad has on his face is like priceless. It is like the dad's so proud. And uh, it's a, it's a great picture. I told him that's a great father son picture and uh, just, just an awesome moment. And I thank you, Tim, for sharing that with us. And uh, like I said, I can't wait for you to get that next pass notice in two weeks. What fire. That's so remember crazy. last time he talked from the gym. Yes, that's right. He did. <laughs> he's probably working out right now. That's probably where he's up. Yeah. So keep it going. That's keep right. it rolling. That's right. Uh, so Woo-hoo. two weeks. That's crazy. Two weeks. Love it. See what two week commitment can do. Dang. Two weeks, guys. Mm-hmm. He's definitely going to be fully licensed before his convention. Yeah. Think about that. What are you doing? every day or two weeks, you know, that you couldn't just set aside some time. That's awesome. All right, let's get to it, Brandy. If we talked about him, now it's all about all the others on here. It's about getting them their pass notice. And how do we do that? Test taking techniques. And Tim is a big fan of the test taking techniques. He told me, Mm -hmm. and uh, he uses these skill sets as well. If you have not ever seen this, you're in for a treat because Mm -hmm. it's not just about content. Nope. I I want to give you guys a secret. These exams are written so that fool you. They trick you. You might think, oh, I know everything about options. I memorized the entire Kaplan LEM. There's no way I can fail. Well, don't tell that to Derek Earls. He rewrote the book word for word in his own pen by hand. Yep. The entire book. Yep. Rewrote it and Mm -hmm. read the book three times because that's what he was told before Mm -hmm. he came to us. Mm-hmm. did he pass no mm-hmm. no he did not and he's like it wasn't until you guys broke down the techniques and showed me that it's not about just the content it's about how you read these questions that i learned and he's already on he's already on to another pass that's right guys that's what we're trying to teach you here how to apply this knowledge the application of the knowledge and how to read these questions so tonight we're going to do just that with these six questions from all these different exams as always pay attention when brandy writes Put this in your own drills. Put this part of your own thing. Yes, be like her. When you're studying, when you're doing your quizzes, write down. We call it mapping it out. Write down what's on the screen. Go A, B, C, D, and start writing your little notes and start eliminating. It will help you. I promise you, if you are a six-time question reader, if you're a four-time, you know, I don't know, I don't know, is that the answer? four-time changer of the answers until you get the wrong one because that's how you do it yeah yeah pick the right one on the first go but you decided to change it till you get the wrong one oh doesn't that bum you out yeah Mm this will help out so let's go brandy let's Let's show them what all the fine people what they showed up for yeah so we're gonna start with the 65 why i don't know it's fun you're up for a challenge i did i decided some fun right all right so we um we could start with d i feel more comfortable starting with a just because what I'm used to. So I'm going to start with A. And it says the investment advisor may be subject to civil liabilities, but not criminal. Now, look, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do just something a little bit. um, I'm going to simplify that information, right? So uh, yes to civil, no to criminal. Okay. See what I just did there? I just pulled that information out. The investment advisor may be subject to both criminal and civil. So I'm going to put yes to civil. Yes. To criminal. Okay. Uh, C says the investment advisor may be subject to criminal, but not civil. So you guys see why I'm pulling this information out, right? Because a lot of the words are very similar and you can very much easily get confused, go, oh yeah, I know it's this one. And then you click B and you're like, oh, I was aiming for C or whatever. Right. And then the last one says the investment advisor will not be subject to penalties or liabilities of any kind no to the civil, no to the criminal. So that's a double no. That's a double no. So basically, they're getting off scot-free. Yeah, that, that's what that's saying, yeah. so Free of all charges. So I should probably know 
what, what's happening, right? So it says an investment advisor commits a violation of the Uniform Securities Act on January 1st, 2007. The violation is discovered on January 1st, 2011. Which of the following is accurate on the day the violation is discovered? So this is one of those things where you gotta have to remember, memorize numbers, okay? So when we talk about civil liabilities and we're talking about the Uniform Securities Act, so that is state, right? I know it's three and two, okay? Three years from events, two years from discovery. So three and two and criminal is five years, okay? So that's my my memory. I would put that on a flash card. Mm -hmm. Might help you Mem remember that it's the state. So I'm going to look at the fact that this said 2007, that was the event. Well, 2011, that's four years, right? Yeah. So civil, you're out. Criminal, you're in. Uh, no civil, no civil, no civil. Yes, criminal. All right, the answer C. So you guys see what I did there? I mapped He was uh, eliminated a long time ago. Yeah, because it will definitely be some sort of criminal. Or some sort of... Uh penalty some sort of penalty because it was yeah but you guys see what i did there and you guys see how i mapped it out on the bottom right there to help me stay straight stay present that's a skill you guys need to do that that's what we call mapping it out mm -hmm. keeping your head in the game what is the question not trying to do it all in your head no they do not give you an extra button they don't give you an extra prize at the door for doing everything in your head and using no scrap paper Right. And, and a lot of times we're easy, we, we might get a question like this when it's at the end of the, the exam. Um, we might just have gone, man, all that looks the same. <laughs> it says criminal and civil everywhere. Right. So mapping it out really does help keep it straight. All right. Now you guys also know civil and criminal. I hope you all wrote that down. Yeah. Let's go. Three, two, and five. All right. Um, yet one of those other things that sometimes we just have to memorize, right? So I've got within seven business days, I got promptly, <laughs> promptly in series 26 world, by the way, is anywhere from one to 30 days. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of, it's like promptly is like kind of depending on whatever we're talking about in the moment. So it's kind of like when you tell your kids to clean their room, it could be one to 30 days from now. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Promptly clean your room. That's there promptly. I got some time. Uh, then I've got within 30 days and I've got within one business day. So I really do have to kind of pay attention to what's what's going on and, and make a match, right? So uh, I have after an OSJ receives a complete and correct application package for a deferred variable annuity. Boom, deferred variable annuity. When does the principal have to review the application and approve it? And guys, again, I don't have any magic way of remembering this. It's seven days. Okay. Like I said, I don't have magic on that one. It's just one of those things you have to memorize. Okay. For some reason, it pops up on the 26 a lot in the quizzes. Remember seven days. Seven days. It's not really a, a technique, but just you got to memorize. Yeah. It. And that's why I wanted to pull it because not everything is going to be a technique and the 26 is very um, timeline based. We have a timeline chart, by the way. <laughs> Grab that on the Patreon on your part of your membership. Yeah. All right. So I've got using false information to open an account. So I got false information. I got participating in a fake purchase or sale. I got buying or selling a security in a series of transactions in order to drive the price up drive the price up so far all three of these look really bad right yeah okay and it says making trades in a customer account simply for the sake of receiving extra commission fees <laughs> all four are bad every yeah. one of these i don't see anything that's good no so what i'm going to do real quick is i'm going to go false information to open an account fake purchase uh drive the price up or receiving extra commissions. So that's what I'm going to match in the question. Okay. Which of the following is not an example of market manipulation? So we're looking for the not. The not market manipulation. I want to say 
I don't know. What do you think? Well, would it be the one that I think is a B because you're just purchasing something? Well, but it's fake. Ah, uh, that's true. Right. So the way I saw this one was um, okay. So using false information to open account from which a broker dealer sells securities. I guess D then because it has nothing to do with anything, right? Because you're doing it within your the account. It's not really on the open market. Nobody knows that except for God and uh, your poor client that you're taking advantage of. Exactly. Exactly. Right. A, B, and C all have to do with trading and prices. D only has to do with commissions for the agents. So that is why D is the answer. We had this conversation in the 63 um, earlier is that the not is not always a simple like what which of the following is not bad. It's what is not matching whatever they want you to know. Which one is not in the group? Exactly. You got all chocolate donuts. Which one's the powdered donut? Exactly. They're all donuts. But which one is the one that's different? Mm. Love me a good powdered donut. I go with the chocolate. Chocolate's better. <sighs> Delicious. Plus, you don't. You can easily pretend like you didn't eat those donuts if you got chocolate. Powder, it's all over your face. It's on that's your true. shirt. That's true. Full of oh. nobody. Okay. These trace evidence everywhere. <laughs> All right. Series seven, because she allowed enough time to pass between the sale and the purchase. So this would have to be more than 30 days because the purchase happened before the sale. Mm, okay. I'm just going to do this. Okay. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, because there was no loss and because Anna made the purchase and Anna Inc. made the sale. Hmm. All right. So Anna bought it and sold it. But Anna made the purchase. Yeah. Anna Inc. Oh. Made the set. There's the difference right there. Do you guys see that? Oops. One's an individual. The other one, not so much. Corporation. Maybe like Brandy and Brandy Inc. That'd be weird. All right. So let's find out what's happening. So first of all, the question is, is why is this not considered a wash sale? And I don't really see um, number of days. So I'm going to cross off A, right? So let's look at what's happening, okay? So it says Anna uses her personal brokerage account to buy 10 shares of ABC at 75. Three weeks later, she sells 10 different shares of ABC that were in the brokerage account for her company, Anna Inc. at 78. So she bought at 75. She sold at 78. That's a gain, right? Yes. Okay. Um, the securities that are sold at 78 were originally purchased at 77.50. Oh, so that's even so like so really, guys? 50 cents. It's 50 cent gain, right? 50 cent. So in both cases, there's gains. Yes. A wash sale happens when there's a loss and you repurchase the security at a lower price. There was no loss. It's only gains. Right. So guess what? It's not a wash sale because there's no loss. She profited. Do you see the little thing there? There was profit. Right. Small one. Small, but she still got one. But it wasn't negative. Right. So if you're going to write this down, and it is on the SIE wash sales, mm -hmm. it's on a lot of them, uh, just know the one characteristic of a wash sale, got to be a loss. Sold for a loss. And then repurchased within 30 days. Mm -mm, within 30 days. Bum, 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 bum. There you go. Okay. Awesome. Series six. Do, 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 do. Through probate court, directly to the beneficiary after probate, through the customer's will, or directly to the beneficiary without probate. These are opposite of each other. Yeah. So we like to say because they're both going to the beneficiary directly. Right. And then one's after, and then one's just without. Not. Right. So let's read the question. And the question says Upon the death of a customer who has his or her securities register as a transfer on death, the security passes. Well, if I put it in my account to transfer on death, 
that means we're definitely going to hit this directly to the beneficiary. But the great thing is, is that because it's the person who is the named beneficiary at the time of death, we don't have to debate anything. Whoever's name's on it goes to that person. So no probate. There's no debate. No debate. There was a list. There's a name on there. Probate. No Get debate. It? No probate. If you didn't know that's how probate works, now you know. Yes. Probate is there to decide who receives the assets after death. But if there are named beneficiaries. Kind of no point of it. Kind of can't contest the TOD, by the way. No. Just thought I would let you know. You can't contest the life insurance and you can't contest the TOD. So get yourself a transfer on death. Yeah. yeah. Ew. Numbers. Those Roman numerals. Oh, Brandy, why you got to bring up these yucky... I don't like these. You I know what I know? C. Fun fact. Don't see a lot of Roman numerals on the SIE exam. Actually, Roman numerals are not on the SIE, the 6, the 7, or the 26. They are, unfortunately, still in the 63 and 65. And they're in your SIE Kaplan. And they're everywhere in your quizzes. So we kind of have to know how to get to them, right? So I still look here first and I know that I'm going to pick two. So what I like to do when I get to these one, two, three, four questions is do this. I do this and then I do this. Okay. Do the elimination game. Yes. The elimination game. So then I'm going to look at my one, two, three, fours and I go, oh. Wow. You really went after them. You went not only in Roman numeral, but then you threw in the numbers. Yes, I did. But if you were in the SIE live this week, because you're a member. You were doing some math. You saw this. All right. So I've got $40, $90. So both of these are dollars, right? And three and four are both numbers. That's right. Because we're talking splits, right? So real quick, I'm going to say, well, if it's a forward split, or I'm going to write it like this. If it's just a split, I'm going to have my number increase and my price decrease. If it's a reverse split, I'm gluing it back together and my number's going down and my price is going to go up. So I just got to make that match. That's it. So I have 100 shares of QRS at $60. So that's lower, that's higher. 100 shares, that's higher, that's lower. I just mapped it out. That's it. Right. Okay. And the company declared a 3-2 split. All I know is this, a 3-2 split, that means my number is going to increase and my price is going to decrease. My number increases, my price decrease. The answer is one and three. And Bob's your uncle. No math at all. No math. No math. Do you know what makes people think there's math? Numbers. Numbers. Do you know what the exam people want you to think? It's math, but in reality, no math. No math, no math, concept only. And look what you learned for the price of your internet at home and electricity. That's right. You learned a little, uh, nice little clue that you can use on the exam yep. when it comes to them splits. Yeah. And now you know. Yeah, and uh, everything that we talked about tonight have all been discussed in our live sessions this week. There you go. It pays to be in those live sessions. And uh, get that extra edge that you've been looking for and learn that little bit and how to defeat, disarm. I like disarm. to call it disarm those exam questions, guys, because they come at you and you want to take them down. Yes. And you don't want to be intimidated by these exams. Oh, man. Guys, they're just words. And every single one of them is way more bark than they are. Yep. So way more bark than bite. Yes. More bark than bite. All right. This weekend, you're going to have choices to make. What choice are you going to make? If you think your weekend's going to be crazy, you're going to be booked out. You got all kinds of vacation plans. And that's the way it looks on Saturday. It looks that way on Sunday. Brandy, I don't know why. I cannot. I don't have any time to study. Oh, geez. Hey, did you see this Facebook video? Right, exactly. But why don't you get yourself up earlier? Plan those study sessions earlier in the day. Make it a quality session. Be Know, know what you're going to do exactly in the morning. Have it laid out. Even have your coffee maker with a timer on it so everything's nice and ready and fresh. Get yourself that study session early so that way you have the whole day carefree, you met your study goal, and you're good to go and you can enjoy it. That's, it. That's how you get it done on those busy days. 
some studying is better than no studying. Absolutely. So we'll see you guys tomorrow and those members tomorrow. We'll see you uh, for the 63, 65 with that SIE content recording, that special Zoom. Uh, we also will see all the members and the evening espresso on Sunday. The rest of you will see you back on Monday for the studying brew when we come back for another Kona catchphrase. It is the game that's sweeping the nation. Until then, everybody, be sure to wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Don't touch your friend's face. That's all I know. Keep that positive mental attitude. PMA, everybody. Have a great night. Thank you guys for being on. We super appreciate you. Don't forget to take those quick quizzes tonight and through the weekend. We will see you guys next time. Have a great one. Have a great one.